Doctors and hospitals utilize billions of single-use medical and pharmaceutical products to perform healthcare procedures every year. These include critical medical devices such as stents, cardiac devices, surgical kits, drapes and gowns, catheters, IV bags, and tubing. More than half of these products and devices in the United States rely on a sterilization process using ethylene oxide, or EO, to keep patients safe from infection. The EO sterilization process is heavily regulated by several regulatory agencies to ensure safe operations for employees, community members, and patients. The healthcare industry, medical device, and product manufacturers, and pharmaceutical industries rely upon companies like Sterogenics that have been safely using EO for sterilization for more than 70 years. Safety is the top priority at Sterogenics. While our facilities already operate safely today, and we do far better than environmental standards, as part of our continuous improvement, we are implementing three major enhancements to our emission control system to further increase the capture of EO and cooperation with regulatory officials. These enhancements involve the use of a new double scrub process, a new negative pressure system, and an optimized discharge point. Let's talk about how these enhancements work to create a world-class EO sterilization facility. The sterilization process begins by placing up to a truckload of products, up to 30 pallets, into a sterilization chamber. Once the chamber is loaded with medical products, which remain fully packaged, the chamber is vacuum sealed and a test is performed to ensure it is airtight. EO is then injected into the chamber and is drawn by the vacuum down through the packaging and through the medical products to destroy any contaminants. This sterilization cycle is specifically designed and validated for each medical product that is sterilized. Medical device manufacturers are required to obtain regulatory approval for the sterilization process before they can sell or distribute any product into a hospital or healthcare setting. After the sterilization process is complete, a vacuum pump pulls the EO out of the chamber and the EO emissions are captured and treated by the emission control system. This is where the first enhancement comes into play, the new double scrub process this enhancement now routes the EO captured by the primary emissions control device through a new second emission control system to double scrub the air to achieve an even higher EO control rate. When the sterilization process is complete, the sterilized medical products are moved from the sterilization chamber through a controlled internal transfer area and into the aeration room, which is currently treated by an existing emission control system. This is where the second enhancement, the new negative pressure system, comes into play. With the new negative pressure system, the air in the building from the chamber area, transfer areas, finished product storage, and shipping areas are captured inside the facility. This new negative pressure system pulls air from outside the facility, through the building, and into a new emissions control system. With the facility under negative pressure, Air stays within the facility and the EO is captured and treated. The third enhancement, the optimized discharge point, is focused on further controlling the very small emissions that remain after careful treatment through the control devices. The air inside our facilities is now effectively sealed off from the outside and has central discharge points after being treated that are strategically designed to further prevent any environmental impact. This allows for the optimal control of all final treated emissions. With the addition of a new double scrub process, a new negative pressure system, and an optimized discharge point, we are able to capture and control 100% of the total EO used, including process emissions and fugitive emissions. This state-of-the-art emission system provides the highest control environment among EO sterilization facilities, which enables sterogenics to further outperform regulatory requirements. Our mission, Safeguarding Global Health, begins and ends with the safety of people in mind. The safety of our employees in our facilities, the safety of the communities in which we operate, and the safety of patients whom we protect through safe and sterile medical devices.